got me. Hey guys, and welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. Absolutely awesome stuff, guys. We now have Sunset Riders available for our favorite FPGA consoles. Now, the systems that I tested it on are the Mr. FPGA and the Analog Pocket. The footage that you're seeing here is all from the Mr. I have tried it on the Analog Pocket, but I didn't capture it this time. However, I can tell you it works. Uh, so this is currently available as a beta core. And in order to have access to this, you would need to be a Patreon subscriber of Hotego, right? But don't worry if you're not a Patreon subscriber, these cores, once they kind of exit the beta stage, they do make it over as public releases. That's the current MO, but that's the MO that Hotego uses right uh patron supporters get early access to betas and honestly the betas are very very top quality there are some um like graphical glitches in this but nothing that spoils your enjoyment of the game i played this so i nearly completed it for this video it is just absolutely fantastic so what exactly is sunset riders well sunset riders is a side scrolling run and gun and it's set like in the wild west you can pick out our four cowboys and uh, all right so in the version you get currently as the beta it only has the four player version right that's that mra that you have but people of the community such as big out and terminator 2k2 they've taken it upon themselves to kind of uh, fiddle about with the mras and now it is possible to play the two player version the difference between the four player version and the two player version well apart from the obvious one which is you can play four players or two players in the four player for example if you play player one it's always assigned to a particular character in in this case player one is always steve so if you play the four player version uh, you can only ever pick steve but if you play the two player version say you're playing it by yourself like me you can pick out of the different characters right so you can pick like billy uh, bob steve or oh, i forget the other the last guy's name but it's four characters you can pick out of so usually if you're playing by yourself or if you're playing two players you kind of want the two player version because you want to be able to select your characters right so if you want uh, those custom MRAs that Terminator 2K2 and Big Al have put together, they are available on the Pixel Cherry Ninja Discord. Uh, I'll leave an invite, invite link to it in the description of the video. There is always an invite link in pretty much most of my videos. So just head over to the Discord, head over to open FPGA uh, cause section or cause and cause news section, and you will see the MRAs there. And they've put them in a nice container with the file structure that you need to follow. So with the mistakes, it's very, very easy. You just Add the MRAs and you're good. With the analog pocket, remember with the MRAs, you need to generate your own .rom file. I've got tutorials on the video. I'll link one in the description. Follow the tutorial, use the MRA.exe tool, and you can generate your ROM and you can have the two player version. Again, if Steve's your favorite character and you're happy just playing with Steve, then you don't need to do any of that. This is just something people do in the community to make uh, all our lives easier now to talk a little bit about the game sunset riders is just absolutely fantastic now i never actually played the arcade version this was a super nintendo game for me i have a lot of nostalgia for it and the reason i have nostalgia for it back when i was in school and me and my friends used to hang out on the weekends we had the super nintendo a few of us had a super nintendo and one of my friends he had a super nintendo with like a pirate disc drive on top so he had every single game out there so i never actually owned this game so the games that we used to play on the weekend it was like bomberman with a multi-tap we used to play nba jam uh, there was a few games that we played mario kart was another one that we played uh, but guys, Sunset Riders was one of the games that we played. It was it was just fun. And it takes me back to that time where I used to play it on the Super Nintendo. Now, I am always of the opinion uh, that in the vast amount of cases, the arcade versions are always superior to the home console version. There may be a few... Um, you know, there may be a few instances where the home version is better, but in most cases, the arcade version is the superior version. For example, something like Street Fighter, I remember it looking a lot better. I remember Ryu walking back and having that animation that he didn't have on the Super Nintendo and the Mega Drive. So with Sunset Riders, yes, it's beefier uh, than the Super Nintendo version from what I remember, but the Super Nintendo version was very, very good. But back then, guys, arcades were different, right? The reason the arcades are so dead, I mean, I guess there's lots and lots of factors, but around the time Sunset Riders was out, the 8 and 16-bit era, what you had in the arcade, from a technological standpoint, was well ahead of what you had at home. So whatever you had at home was like Diet Coke, and what you had in the arcade was Coke with all the sugar. So there was always, always better games in the arcade, right? So there was always an incentive to go to the arcade, 
and you know you've got your home versions which are good we very much enjoyed can't shoot them down but the arcade versions were always superior in the vast amount of cases so i always enjoyed going to the arcade so guys in this one here when i started doing this video right we didn't have these mras that big Al and terminator 2k2 kind of put together so i was playing it on the mister just a four player version so most of the footage you're going to see in this video is with steve but then when i got the mra later i made sure i did i done the first level with the other three characters so you can see some footage of those characters as well everything about this game is just bliss guys the art style is brilliant the way your characters look the way you get in the doors and the way a woman kisses you the boss fights are amazing the character designs are just next level this game is just sheer goodness guys and it's one of the ones that i've been waiting for for a long time to uh hit uh, the mr fpga and the analog pocket and honestly it's great on both now there are some known graphical glitches so like there's a little artifact that pops up on screen also the second level boss you get some lines going across the screen and you will spot some anomalies along the way but don't worry about it you know things are in hand it took a valiant effort for Hotego and team to get this uh, up and running so uh, Hotego and his team were the ones designing the core you had Vertec decapping like a security ch chip that got it working uh, as well as that you had DJ Hardrich uh, who loaned his board to Hotego so a lot of gears uh, were, were, were a lot of cogs uh, were spinning in order to get this uh, up and running for us so a lot of work takes place and honestly guys i'm super happy this has come out because you know what there's a lot of games on this konami hardware so the arcade hardware of the sunset riders is the konami tmnt2 board teenage mutant ninja turtles 2 based hardware right but there's a few different games on this we have got a game called Datana also known as Twin B or Bells and Whistles, right here comes Twin B. Now this is a fun cute em up, right? I'm not sure if this is the first ever cute em up, but it's probably the first cute em up I remember that. Again, I'm gonna go back to the SNES because I used to play this or a version of this on the SNES. So I have a lot of SNES memories for this. Then there's a game called Golfing Grace. Again, it's a golf game, nothing that I'm particularly looking forward to, but I, I always get excited about arcade games coming, right? Even if it's not for me, but just for you guys that actually enjoyed and played this stuff in the arcade. Then we've got a game called uh, Lightning Fighters Trigon, which is a vertical shmup. Prodeus Star is on this hardware, and we already have this, right? It's great, it's fantastic, absolutely love it, right? Then we've got Premier Soccer, a soccer game, or as we like to call it in the UK, football. Then there's Quiz Gakuman no Sasume. As you've guessed, it's a quiz game. It's going to be in Japanese, more than likely, and I'm not even going to understand what goes in that. Then you've got Roller Games, which is like a racing stroke, beat the crap out of each other type of game. Uh, obviously, we've got Sunset Riders that we're looking at here. Now there's a game called Surprise Attack. Surprise, surprise this was recently released for the Nintendo Switch so I picked it up I grabbed it and you know what I kind of like it but I also kind of hate it it's like a shinobi style game but one thing I like about the shinobi is that bounce mechanic right if you bounce into an enemy you kind of bounce off if you touch an enemy you bounce back in this one it's not like that if an enemy touches you it's instant death and, and that's not that's something i dislike about the game and the big one the big one on this hardware is actually teenage mutant ninja turtles 2 or turtles in time one that i'm really looking forward to because honestly i don't think i've completed this game i did play it a bit on the snes i don't i don't remember seeing the arcade machine i think i only played it on the snes the first one i played a lot in the arcade i've completed it multiple times so i'm holding out until we get an fpj release of uh, turtles in time and that's something that i would like to play but guys for now enjoy sunset riders if you're a hotel page Patreon, you can enjoy this now make sure you go and get it a big shout out to everyone in the community people like uh, matt panella that are always working on the updater neil morrison retro driven uh, i know um i know you can grab this via um the uh, pup data because i use pup data to get it right i mean Matt, uh, Matt Panella is so fast with it that honestly usually I used to convert stuff manually now I don't even need to do that I just wait like a few minutes and bang this up there with the updater so you definitely want to try this game out it is fantastic guys seriously seriously good like I said the bosses are good it feels good when a lady kisses you um, yeah uh, the way you kind of go on the horses and go around it just it is eye candy guys it's a great game and it's a great addition to our FPGA gaming anyway guys that's kind of it um, I really do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, thumbs up and a subscription. All that good stuff is super appreciated. Be awesome to one another, guys. This is Pixel Cherry Ninja out.